We need artists in this surrealist world, but we also need gallerists. Uh, and Trudy Ann has been an outstanding gallerist and supported so many uh, emerging, mid-market and extraordinary careers like Andrew Baines over a long period of time. He's uh, participated in numerous group exhibitions both here in Australia uh, and internationally. He's been a three-time finalist in the Doug Moran Portrait Prize, which was the, the wealthiest, uh, most illustrious uh, portrait prize in Australia for a long uh, period of time. But more than that, he's just a fabulous person. He's great to work with. I was speaking to Trudy Ann uh, before. Uh, they've been together for 19 years. The surrealist art world uh, here in, in South Australia and uh, more broadly across Australia and internationally for a long period of time. And just talking about surrealism that emerged in the early 20th century seeks to unlock the power of the unconscious mind by juxtaposing the irrational and the dreamlike with mundane reality. It challenges our perceptions and invites us to explore the deeper, often hidden layers of our existence. Surely that is exactly and precisely what Andrew Baines is all about. I mean, every single one of these paintings, these fabulous paintings, often in the tranquil and beautiful setting of his beloved Henley Beach, is juxtaposed with somebody holding an umbrella, wearing a bowler hat, or an orchestra, or a hill's hoist, or you know, a, a, a cow, or a sausage dog, or a crazy politician, or maybe a mayor wearing their mayoral robes. It is the surreal. 